Hi, my name is Attorney Walter of Not the Third. I'm with Disability Resolution PA. Let's go over question, trick question number four that the ALJs use as part of your SSDI SSI hearing. All right, the beer math trick question. Now, some of you guys, and I love you dearly, but you're a drunk as a drunk can be. Okay, you are a lush, and I'm talking velvety soft. You are deep sea diving, and you haven't even gotten in the pool yet, all right? So, let's talk about beer math. Well, claimant, uh, let's just call it Sarah or John. Well, Sarah, can you walk me through... How many drinks do you normally have a week? Well, what do you think? Yeah, you know, how many beers? You know, well, how many beers do you have, right? Ah, Sarah responds. Ah, Sarah responds. I have about eh, seven beers a week. Seven beer, beer a day? That's not bad. It's not too hey, You know what I mean? Hey, hey, how she affords them? Who the heck cares? I don't know. Seven beers a week. Okay. Well, how many beers did you have yesterday? Oh, I didn't have any beers yesterday. No. Perfect. How many beers did you have the day before? Day before was Thursday. Oh, I had three beers on Thursday. Oh, okay. And the day before that, Wednesday, I had one beer on Wednesday. What about Tuesday? Tuesday was my birthday. Sarah's birthday. It's Tuesday was my birthday, as Sarah as would say. How many beers did you have on your birthday? Oh, I had about six or seven. Okay, that's understandable. Yeah, yeah. What about Monday? Oh, I don't know. I think I had a beer and a half, you know. What about Sunday? I didn't have any beers on Sunday. What about Saturday? Oh, about four or five beers. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, right, but we started out at seven beers, a beer a day, which isn't great in their eyes, because remember, these judges are pretty, you know, they, they don't smoke usually, they don't drink usually, they're not sitting there smelling like pot half the time. I don't know why people in the USPS office seem to have that one. Just They cling to it and they claim it as the award champion ribbon that they have around their neck. But aside from that governmental twist, they're pretty clean-cut individuals. You know, I'm talking Deep South, you know, country boys that grew up to be attorneys. I'm talking about hardliner veterans of war that turned out to be, you know, great attorneys, all that stuff. They tend to be individuals who are clean-cut like my haircut which was done very quickly and in my opinion not well so let's well the haircut was good the beard trim was terrible he didn't he didn't trim this which is why i had to like you know get the scissors out and kind of try and fudge it for these videos so it doesn't it's still way too like you know what i mean it's like you know move the curtain at the VHS store in the 1980s. It's like, you know, it was like that. It's much better now that I've fixed it a little bit. So anyways, let's get, you know, in my brain, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I have a severe case of ADHD that I will not get treated because I don't have time. So let's get to the point. All right, beer math. You got to make sure that your week of beer equates to the beer total that you gave to the judge. You gotta make sure, otherwise you're a liar. Same thing goes for wine, same thing goes for spirits. And please, you know, and I understand some of you are drunks beyond imagination. You, you're in the hospital going and telling the, the, and that's another thing, stop telling your doctor unless it's relevant how much you drink. If it's relevant, that's fine. Cool beans, cha cha cha, whatevsies. If it's relevant. If it's not relevant, stop it. Don't tell your doctor just for sniggles and giggles that you have, you know, a, a, a bottle of vodka in the morning and a bottle of Smirnoff's giggles and beans at night. I, I don't, uh, stop. I don't want to keep reading stories about your manliness, Sarah, about your ability to just drink John under the table you know anyways I had fun with that video part alright if you do have questions that's number four stick around for number five 
Number five is one I see all the time, to be honest with you. You know, you guys know who I represent, you know, so. Uh, anyways, if you have a question, don't be afraid to give me a call. Uh, if you want to know the most up-to-date information, have a custom video made or something just figured out for you, that's fine. Shoot me an email, give me a call, or shoot me a text. All right? Have an absolutely wonderful day. We'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.